back here out of Bray Hyatt. Classy Rob Massey and handsome Jimmy Hansen coming to you live. And here it is. They're putting that brick in your face. The Abruzzis coming out here. Do they have my money when I come to collect? Two weeks ago, Vincenzo. Do they have my money when I come to collect? Lost to, Vincenzo lost to Jack Connor. And the Abruzzis took care of business gentlemen, after the match. Gentlemen, pleasure. Nope. All right. Gonna have my money when I come to collect. Not one thing. Thank you. And he finally did it. He did it. Yeah. He's very angry. Vincenzo Abruzzi is very angry. He must have not had his pasta today. No. I mean, they could stand to not eat pasta. Well, I'll tell you what. I mean, they're both in a, they're both in a, you know, an odd shape. It's a rectangle almost. Dante, you're on camera. Almost like a brick, which is a rectangle. Exactly, brick in your face. Right. You know? Look at this, Jam and Jack. My question is, is who is Jam and Jack's tag team partner going to be? He has not really told anybody. He just wants to take on. Yes, Jam and Bruce Jack. Uh, Given high fives to people, at least somebody had the decency to shake my hand. I mean, you know. You got Bret Harder by the Abruzzis. I got Bret Harder by the Abruzzis, and you know what? They should probably have a stroke. That got real. That's <laughs> it. You know what? That did get real. That probably should be cut for commentary, but you know what? I don't give a damn. We're on the end of Jimmy. Right. Two and Boat Trucks Hero. That's a terrible song. You're not a fan of. I'm not a fan of Jukebox Hero at all. Hero. Oh, the crowd here at the RWA Chomp Chop seems to be. Well, you know what? I don't give a damn about the people here at the RWA Chop Shop. That's fair. The newest RWA Wall of Famer, Tony Reno, is making his return to the RWA ring. Well, at least somebody Reno, made it into the Wall of Fame, for Christ's sake. You inducted Tony Reno. I know. I mean, nobody else will, but I was here when you inducted him. That's great. Fantastic. Where's my Wall of Fame? Oh, you just retired. Again. Look at this. Reno oh, is wow. back. Reno is back. Wow, what an incredible... I think he missed it a little bit. He's blinging out in the mouth area. You could see a legacy when he was uh, part of the main event that he was missing being in the ring. He enjoyed the pop that he got at Legacy from the over 200 people we had at the East Providence Recreation Center. Uh, what a show that was, Classy Rob. What a show it was. And it looks like Reno, I don't know if this is a one-shot deal or not, if he's just helping out Jam and Jack Connor. Well, why the hell would he help uh, help out Jam and Jack Connor? That's a second again? reference to that. We're going to welcome you with an ass kicker. Now, the Abruzzi is not being all too nice at the returning Tony Reno. Would well, you expect anything? Well, I mean, I'll tell you what. Tony Reno does have a kidney issue. Uh, I, I know for a fact that he has a kidney issue. I've wrestled the man several times. Uh, you know, Tony Reno is a, it was a hell of an athlete at one time. I don't know what type of shape he's in. He's been out of the ring for quite a bit now. Was that a tag in? No, ring the bell, I guess. Okay. We're ringing the bell. Vincenzo Abruzzi starting here with Jam and Jack Connor, the jukebox hero of the RWA. Reno is talking to Vincenzo Abruzzi here. Now, wait a minute. Jam and Jack is saying he's going to tag in Reno. Reno's asking for it. Now, you've, you've taken hiatuses from the ring. I mean, that first match back, is it, is it like riding a bike when you when you? Well, I mean, for a superior athlete such as myself, I mean, I could get in the ring right now and probably whoop somebody's ass. 
But the fact of the matter is, is that, you know, Tony Reno is not the superior athlete that I am. Uh, you know, he may... Nice oh, well, I mean, takedown, an amateur takedown. Spinning his back a little bit there, got a little bit tripped up. I mean, oh, there's a drop toe hold. You don't see that very much. That's very reminiscent of, uh, of Johnny from the Karate Kid. Sweep the leg. Do you have a problem with that? Not at all. No sensei. <laughs> he was the Karate Kid. He, he actually was, yes. That movie was backwards, <laughs> like crisscross. Not this, Christopher Cross. No, 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 Christopher. not Christopher Cross. Come sing away. Come say it. Look at this, a little test of strength. And now these two are kind of jawing back and forth. And I tell you what, Vigenda did a lot of jawing at hype against Jack Connor a couple of weeks ago. He ended up losing the match. And if he's not careful, Tony Reno is going to make him pay for all the jawing. Block, left hands. Reno is holding his ground. Vigenda kind of pulling him back there. Right right Reno better watch out here. Reno better watch out. Vincenzo, Vincenzo knows to, known to be a dastardly human being. And both men lock Look up. Look at this. Greco Roman style. Greco Roman knuckle lock. Oh, Tony Reno really being forced down. Look at this. Reno working really quickly back to get Vincenzo back down. And oh, Vincenzo for the butt. Two and a couple. Oh, Tony Reno. Oh, and now he gets kicked in the chest for his troubles. That a boy, Vincenzo. Oh, that's, that's a, a forearm. hard forearm. Very nice. Vincenzo Bruzzi has Reno in the corner. Brings him up to the top turnbuckle. High rent district. Rent isn't too high here at in Olneyville. You just have to get people to actually pay rent. That's the issue. Well, I mean, that's a shoot, I think. Bruzzi. Oh, Tony Reno comes off the top. Here's a cover now. One, two, and Cipriano breaks up the three count of the referee. Our new referee, I believe his name is Pat. Gets Cipriano out of the ring. I think he got that shirt at Foot Locker. It's almost cliche when a wrestler comes back into the ring after a long hiatus and he used to got a chance, but Reno looked very impressive. Snapmare takeover now by Jan and Jack off the ropes. And a top kick right to the point of the head. Cover one, two, and a kick out. Well, you know what? That may be the best thing that Jack that Jam and Jack has in his repertoire is that drop kick. He uses that missile drop kick at will. Reno back in the ring, a double axe handle right to the kidneys of Vincenzo Abruzzi. Oh, there's a, there's, a, there's a real elbow. That's not even a forearm. That's an elbow. Tony Reno shooting him off the cables now. A big clothesline by Reno, and Reno really hasn't seemed to miss a step. Not so much ring rust on him. Tag in the jam and jack. Big scoop and a slam. I can't believe he picked Vincenzo up. Look at this. Hip toss. Here's a cover. One, two, and a kick out at two. Uh, going back to being a veteran returning to the ring after a hiatus, is it easier when you're in a tag match where you have the ability to get a second to get your breath? Well, I mean, I think I think what the what the issue is here is that these these gentlemen, uh, Jam and Jack and Tony Reno, they've never worked as a team together. That's going to be the problem in this match. The Abruzzi's have been working together their entire life. Abruzzi's now to Cipriano using the top rope to rake the eyes. Oh, oh good God, good God. God. Somebody check the forearms. Check the front rope with chiclets. And now a shoulder tackle. Jam and Jack folded right in half. And he's forcing him into the buckles here. Jam and Jack has nowhere to go. Ooh, Jam and Jack shot to the midst of shot. Oh, and there's a hard club to the back. Cipriano Abruzzi is not taking any sort of, uh, you know, any sort of prep at all from Jam and Jack, the jukebox hero of the RWA. Irish whip and reverse. Oh, and there's a kick to the leg. Wow, that's very karate style of them. Look at where is Cipriano Abruzzi going? What's he doing? It's going to be that drop Look kick. Look at drop kick into the face. I'll tell you what, for a man who has had, re has had knee surgery in the past, and uh, oh, look at the heat. It's a cover one, two, and a kick out. It's Cipriano or Bruzzi is just manhandling Jam and Jack Connor. If Jam and Jack wants to really step into this match a little bit, he's going to have to forget all the all the basic wrestling that he has learned. He's going to have to learn how to fight very quickly. Tag into Vincenzo, and Vincenzo taking over where his brother left off, just pounding down Jack Connor. The back and the rib area has to be just lit up. Ooh, there's a hard chop from Vincenzo Abruzzi. You don't see that very much. Not from the Abruzzi's, no, as Cipriano is hanging up Jim and Jack Connor on the top rope. The referee is distracted. He catches what the Abruzzi's are doing. See, what I'm worried about is I, I would be worried about Abby Knox over there trying to grab you. Uh, you know, if, if you're over there on the outside, you bet. Look at this. Jim and Jack fighting back now. His Four. chops and all, and I mean the chops on his face. Uh-oh. Being caught and... Whoa! 
Oh, good gosh almighty. Is a cover one, two, and a kick out just did two. Well, if that did not grab you on a Friday night, that cost at least $25. Well, you know, there's no reason to talk like that about such a fine specimen of a woman like Abby Knox. She is a handsome woman. Let me just tell you, Rob. I, she, she did commentary with me a couple of weeks ago as Cipriano has a big scoop on Jam and Jack, who's begging to be put down. And, oh, well, and he gets put down the hard way there. Jam and Jack is in a lot of pain. You can just see the, the angst in his face there. And he's not even cover stepping one. on his throat. This referee needs some refereeing lessons. Jam Where's Jack? Michael Santana when you need him? Jeez. Oh, Santana's not even refereeing anymore. Right to the eyes of Jack. What do you mean Jack he's not refereeing anymore? You know full well that Santana Did is Did he take my wrestler. spot? No, no. We had your spot long before you gave it up. Classy Rob, you are walking a fine line here, and you're not Johnny Cash. I will slap the taste out of your mouth. I am not afraid to do it. Jam and Jack fighting back against Cipriano Abruzzi to no avail. Irish whip reversed, and Abruzzi just putting a little bit extra pepper behind that. Catch is going to be the rock what of my baby. What is this, baby? the rock of my baby? Yeah! Oh, 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 out of nowhere. What an ace crusher. Good gosh almighty. Huge opportunity here for Tony Reno. He needs a tag. From Jim and Jack. Jim and Jack Connor. They both need to make handle. a tag right here. The Abruzzi's man know all about it. They know about the, the art of tag team wrestling. Jim and Jack inches away from his corner. Vincenzo looks like he's going to make the tag first, and he does. An attack to Tony Reno at the same time. Reno comes in with a huge clothesline to Cipriano Abruzzi. Follows up with a back elbow. Reno on fire. Goes for another clothesline. Takes down. Cipriano Abruzzi needs to get the hell out of the ring. What is this? Looks like he's trying to hook him up. Oh, he might be going for it. Reno with a close oh, line. Lord. That's got to be it. That's got to be it. That's so Cipriano and Bruzzi just put the arm over him. Two and a oh, and he Jim and Jack breaks up the pin. That was a very smart idea on his part. Cipriano saying goodnight, saying, uh, telling Tony Reno to say goodnight. And Cipriano setting up Reno. On the Got him up for the headshot here. He may be looking to end this right now. Reno Look reverses. Oh, and he hits the sweet and low. Both men down. Standing 10 count being administered. It looks like Jam and Jack is begging for a tag now. Cipriano Briggs is in a lot of pain. He went right after that brace after being thrown to his back by Tony Reno. He wonder if something happened to his bionic knee. Reno makes a tag, a tag to Vincenzo Abruzzi. Here comes Jam and Jack. Ducks the line off the ropes and eats the back elbow. Jack Connor, all sorts of fired up. All the adrenaline is hit now. Big drop kick finds its mark. Here's a cover. One, two, and a Ooh. kick out to the two. Very, very close. I thought the Abruzzis were going to be out of this matchup. Jam and Jack, as Abby Knox, as you just talked about, took down Tony Reno. You know, I may... Oh, oh, what a low blow! I don't think that's a low blow at all. He hit him on the inside of the thigh. That was definitely a low blow. And there's the fun goal to Jack oh. Here's a cover. One, two, and three. Now that is the real art of tag team wrestling, Classy Rob. Maybe you know nothing about that, but these gentlemen got in there and they got the job done. I didn't see Abby Knox do anything wrong at all. She tripped up Tony Reno on the far corner, and Vincenzo low blow Jack Connor so hard, his grandchildren will feel that. I think that you were, were mistaken. The sweat got in your eyes or something. Something happened, Classy Rob. You didn't realize what happened. Tony Reno, his kidney hurt. He fell down. Jim and Jack got hit on the inside of the thigh, and then he was beaten by the fungal between these two men. They hooked it up. They made it happen, and the Abruzzis get the win at the end of this. Well, they got the win. Whether or not you want to believe Hanson Jim's explanation of that win is up to you at home. But I well, tell you, you know what? The people at home don't understand the fine intricacies of professional wrestling. That's what the real problem is, Rob Massey. The fans here in the chop shop don't understand it. The people watching at home don't understand it. They don't understand the intricacies that go into it. not understand a fist to the nether regions. There was not a fist to the nether regions. It was his It was his, uh, his forearm, and it hit the inside of the thigh. There was no fist. He did not legitimately take his fist in a closed fist manner and punch him in the nether regions. Why would an Italian upstanding gentleman like Vincenzo Abruzzi do something like that to Jam and Jack? You could say it was a hit. 
if you will. You know, you know, for a college-educated person, you are plumb dumb, Rob Massey. You are plumb dumb. You know what? I, I don't even know if I can sit here with you. This is kind of ridiculous. Uh, ridiculous or not, coming up next is going to be a singles match. It's going to be Crimson Alchemy of the Pharaoh of Fear, as he is known, digging on your Canadian hero, Dante. A very rare singles match for Dante, one quarter of the Men of Honor, and that match is next.